Good day, mates. Long time no see. Welcome back. Um, today I've got a kit unboxing, and it's a cheapest chips kit. Cost me five pounds and ninety nine new pennies for a one thirty five Academy King Tiger, and uh, I'll tell you about it in just a minute. So, where did I get this fantastic £5.99 pence kit from? Well, I got it from a website called 1001hobbies.co.uk But, and here's the uh, but, although it's got a .co.uk uh, web address, it's actually based in France from what I can see. So. I was uh, searching for this King Tiger because when I got back into the hobby in the back end of 2019 uh, the first kit I made was uh, the Tamiya King Tiger and I made so many mistakes on it I had a really cheap nasty airbrush that uh, wouldn't spray properly uh, and it just Although I did the best I could with it, I still could have probably done better. So I thought, hey, I'll get another King Tiger and I'll do a better job of it this time. But, uh, not but, and so I started searching, just did a Google search first of all for King Tiger or Tiger 2, whatever. And it came up with a load of uh, lists. I thought I'll look on Scalmates first, as you do. So the Academy one popped up and I just thought oh, I'll go for it, have a look, see what's occurring. So you scroll down, check all the, the uh, details of reboxings and all that malarkey. And um, scroll down a bit further and it had the photos of all the sprues, scans of the instructions. I thought yeah that looks pretty good. Scan further down for the list of online vendors five or six of them 42 pound 45 pound and one, <laughs> and one that had 5.99 for thousand and one hobbies.co.uk so i was naturally um <laughs> curious so i clicked on the link sure enough on the website it was five pound 99 so I stuck it in my basket, uh, left it in my basket for a day, went back to it the next day, still in my basket, still £5.99. So I thought, right, I'll buy that. Click through to buy, all went through to buy perfectly. The postage from France was actually more than what uh, the, the kit cost. Uh, I think it come to just under £16 altogether for the kit, um, some kind of tax on it, the postage from France. Uh, yeah, so I bought it, paid for it, it got confirmation from PayPal that the payment had gone through and um, yeah, I couldn't believe it. All went through, got confirmation email, thank you for your order. Academy King Tiger, £5.99, blah blah blah. Then a few days later I got confirmation saying it had been uh, sent. A few days after that I got confirmation that it arrived in the UK. And then today I actually got it. So I'm well pleased. So I got it for... 16 uh, just under 16 pound 15 pound 96 or 95 or something like that which is you know I saw it on eBay for 42 44 45 48 so yeah that was a bit of a bargain really so let's have a little look and see what's uh, inside the box 
So this is the box. Academy German King Tiger last production from 1945. The last production that is not the kit. Remember this was five pounds and ninety-nine pence. So this is what we've got. I assume that they're just advertising uh, different kits from Academy Tiger One and uh, is that a Yag Panther or a Hetzer? Hetzer. There's the paint call outs. Black and white, I prefer colour would be better. Next time Academy, give us one in colour. So we've got two, what appears to be two, Tiger Ausführung B, three Panzer Abteilung 511, Castle, Germany, May 1945, which is that one. And it says they're the only King Tiger in very unique octopus scheme. I don't know how true that is because I'm not a World War II historian, but I'll take their word for it. That's that one there. They're not actually dots, they seem to be little open circles on there. I assume that's still ambush pattern. And the second one is Tiger Ausführung B, 3 Panzer Abteilung 511, Rengershausen, Germany, May 1945, which is a, looks like a more traditional dotted um, ambush camo pattern. I like that scheme, but I'm really not sure. I'll be able to replicate it but we'll see that's three colour and that's two colour on the back is a sprue map A, B, C, D, E, 2 of F, 2 of G, 2 of H and a tiny little PE sprue There's the destructions or the book of words. Colour call out, flat back, black, steel, German grey, sand yellow, dark green, red brown, flesh, which is obviously you get two figures, field grey and black. Ah, two piece barrel. That's just a bit pants. Starting off with the turret. I say that looks a bit intricate for a gun breach, it's not likely to be seen, but hey ho. Turret ring. Commander's cupola. With the MG. Oh look, there's the, there's the little figures. M44 P bat pattern for Waffen SS. M44 P pattern for Waffen SS. Yeah. All right. I don't think I'll be doing that. It's a bit outside my uh, remit for remit. See skill level. There's the uh, front machine gun. One, two, three, four parts. And then you've got to put it all together there. 
It looks a bit overly complicated for a machine gun on the front basis, but hey ho. Torsion bar suspension, which is never going to be seen, so make of that what you will. Oh, uh, misses. Three parts for each wheel. Three parts. Count that one, two, three for each wheel. One, two, three for each wheel. Here you go. Lincoln length tracks, which I just done on my recent T34, and I quite enjoyed them. Pretty easy to put together. There's all the, your little bits of PE for the mesh grills. Nothing spectacular. I'm going to probably just build this straight out of the box with nothing, no added extras. Straight from the box, boys and girls. There you have it. Fifteen steps from start to finish, which ain't too bad. Usual malarkey from uh, yeah. Look at here. These are the tools you might need. Bloody bloody bloody. Take care. There's all the warnings about the glue and using tools. We know all about that. Start with this then. Up a hole. These are supposed to be, this version, supposed to be a lot of it is different to uh, regular Tiger 2's, so I've been reading, but whether they've uh, accounted for all the differences in this kit, I don't know. I'm not really one for 100% uh, historical accuracy. I can't be asked with all that. Tow cables. Everything looks okay to me on that. Top of the turret. Mantlet, mantlet, turret ring. Another bit of the bottom bit of the turret. Oh, another bottom bit of the turret. Oh, three bits. Commander's cupola. Some little grab handles there. All looks nice and crisp. It's uh, not a bathtub uh, lower hole, so you're going to have to build it yourself. pretty standard there's the towing hooks sure they've got a proper name but hey ho towing hooks for me there's the wheels not a bad detail on the wheels there I don't think I'll say you looks all right to me Apparently, so I've read the sprockets had a different number of teeth on there, so I'm not a sprocket tooth counter, so I'll just take it as a, that it's all on there. And there's that third part of the wheel, I assume they're steel wheels, and that's why you're doing it. Torsion bars, sprocket, sprocket, I won't count the uh, teeth on the sprocket. I'm sure some people will get upset if it hasn't got the right amount of teeth on it. As long as it fits and it works. Another sprue with uh, that funny third bit of the wheels. There's your two part gun barrel. Oh, there's a one part there as well. What's that all about? 
there's your figures two figures I might just put commando on there I can't be I love figures on these tanks that I'm building I think it adds so much to them but they're very time consuming and I can't paint flesh to save my life and he's actually got one of those stick grenades tucked in his belt there with that one which is quite a, quite a nice touch but uh, there's no way I would sit there and paint P dot camo on that tiny little thing I haven't got the skill and I haven't got the uh, interest in doing it basically uh, a few other little bits and bobs front of the mantlet all looks nice and crisp and there you have the bottom of the hole with all the openings and scape hatches or whatever they are side skirts side skirt the exhaust, exhaust covers yeah it all looks pretty good to me what do you reckon? I'm sure some of you are the experts and not me all looks fine to me Lincoln length tracks all black nice Please don't tell me they're guide horns that you've got a glue on. So I shall be very upset if they are. There's your tracks. And there's the decals. Haha. <laughs> <coughs> They'll give you decals for splinter pattern. P dot pattern. I don't know whether they're expecting you to be able to wrap the figures in them, but not for me, sunshine. It's a nice idea, but there's no way I'm going to cut things out and try and fit it on the figure. And those are the decals for the, the uh, camo pattern. What I told you about, they were like open circles and not dots. Might be interesting trying to do that. I definitely won't be messing around with them. And there's your little bit of silver PE. Nice and fine. That. Nice and fine, my friends. So that's it. In the box. And that's what you get in the box. Interesting kit. So, that's a little peep at my £5.99 bargain of the century. It looks quite a good kit actually. I'm looking forward to building that. I don't know when I'll get round to it, but uh, I will. I've got that... Uh, I've got that wish I'd never started, that mini art full interior Panzer IV sitting there staring me in the face all the time that I've got to try and get back into it but hey ho we'll figure that out as we go along but that's it anyway that was a dead bargain uh, thank you to my Australian buddy Matthew for sending me uh, a spare set of Tamiya Stug 3 uh, rubber band tracks that he had because I was having trouble with these microscopic Friol uh, metal tracks I was having a lot of them bend and break and uh, turns out I had a crap drill bit in my little pin vise. I'm sorry Matthew. 
I saw a video on YouTube of a bloke who was absolutely flying through these three all tracks. So I asked him uh, what drill bit he was using and where he got them from. And he sent me a link. And uh, it appears my drill bit was either blunt or it was just crap. It wasn't a proper HSS drill bit. But anyway, I bought this one. And it's been flying through them. So I'm sorry, Matthew. I've still got these metal... Um, Frills Stug Free tracks, but I have put your plastic ones on my Stug Three, so thank you for that. I'll show you that uh, it's almost finished. Finally, I'll be glad to see the back of it because it's been a bit of a pain in the ass, but hey, -ho. all down to me, of course. Anyway, thank you for sticking through it, and uh. I'll see you soon guys, take care, stay safe, get vaccinated, uh, bye.